But anyway, what was I, I got through with the trip to Egypt speech. So what was I gonna say next? Uh and, uh Oh, I also have in the, in the crappy tape department. I have Sertron low noise tapes. They're a little bit they're a little bit up above Swire Intermagnetics tapes, but they're pretty shitty too. Let's see. My nose is running. Uh, I just sneezed before I uh, before I started this broadcast. I I sneezed my head off. I do that. You know, I'm allergic to dust and chocolate, I think, and mold. I must have gotten a hold of one of those three, because I just sneezed my brains out. Probably dust, because I'm sitting down here in the floor in front of the stereo, and there's dust everywhere. So that's probably it. Right now I'm watching on PBS. I'm not really watching it. My back is kind of turned to it, but I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and the sound is off, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm watching Cousteau Explores the Mississippi. I don't know why he'd want to. It's, you'd think he'd want to go out where there's all kinds of neat fishes and coral reefs and stuff. He's exploring the Mississippi. I guess he's running out of things to explore. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, back to the tapes. I really hadn't planned anything to say, but I've just been mumbling. and it looks like I've taken up a pretty good amount of tape so far. So that's nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, I have I've, another thing I've been recording off the radio more recently is uh, music from the Hearts of Space show. It's on uh, it's on the the public radio station based at the college WSCL, and it's like it's like new age weirdo uh, soundtrack sounding space music. They just call it space music. I, I don't know. New age is 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 just an am just as ambiguous sounding as space music. So I don't know what I don't know what kind of name you could call it that would aptly describe what it is. It's it's kind of soundtracky sounding music, sort of, kind of I don't know. But I've been recording some of that, and I'll I'll put a little bit of that on. There's there's one real um nice piece I found. I haven't listened to it in a while. I recorded it and listened to it a couple times, and and put it in a little box with all the other tapes. And I didn't label it, so it took took me a while to find it again. I knew it was in there somewhere. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. Oh, here's a Sony tape. This is a nice tape, but it's a normal position anyway, and it's old. Probably been recorded over several hundred times. I think we discussed this a while ago. I sent you. I I think I sent you this. It was a. Uh, Lynn and Debbie telling their silly little stories. But that's on there. I didn't really want to find that again, but there it is. Whiskers! There's Whiskers over there sitting in my chair, crumpling up paper. She's a paper pervert. She just loves to stand on paper and knead the paper and Make a little nest on paper, you know. Get a little cat nest. Now she got up and stretched and, and fluffed her, her paper pillow and went back to sleep. I thought maybe I'd get her to say something maybe later. Okay, pile B. There's some uh, cas a space music cassette and uh, there's there's a, a good piece. I'm not, I didn't listen to the whole thing. I haven't listened to it in a while. I'm not sure how long it is, so... Maybe I'll just give you an excerpt from it, but there's one piece on there that's got electric violin in it, and it, it sounds pretty neat. I'm not sure who played it. They usually, they, they play all the pieces, there's an hour-long show, and they play all the pieces through the show, and at the very end, they announce all the stuff they played. Actually, um, I keep, I haven't done it in a while, I haven't listened to the show in a while, but I kept, I kept, uh, all week I'd say, yeah, I want to I want to listen to that, make sure I listen to that show, and then I'd forget about it Sunday night. It comes on Sunday night at 11, 11 to 12, and I'd always forget about it, and I then I, I'd remember like at 11:20 I'd go, oh shit, the show's on, and I'd turn it on and and uh, tr and uh, either listen to it or record it or or both, and at the end they'd tell who it was, and a couple of times. 
I kept missing the beginning, and it was and the, and the songs were always at the beginning that I wanted to hear. But a couple of times when they announced the all the songs that they played, there were a couple of John McLaughlin pieces on there, and I never get never did get to hear any of them. There were a couple of um. There was another guy. I think there was a Michael Hedges uh, song on there once. But anyway, but the the electric violin piece is pretty good. It might be John Luke Ponty. I don't know. That's the only electric violinist I can think of. Just one one footnote. I, I rewound the tape a little bit and checked. And yes, yes, I did record all that nonsense. That would have been pretty crappy if I hadn't recorded all that nonsense. I just mumbled, because then I'd have to, then I have to, or I'd have to rewind the whole tape and redo it, and then it wouldn't be be as spontaneous and, and exciting as it was the first time around. But, but anyway, here, here's some here's some recorded stuff. 